I'm a sucker for a beautiful bottle and with a simplistic name like lemon and a beautiful gorgeous bottle like that, let's go! <laughs> What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to my series of sampling samples. Today I'm gonna to be sampling from the brand of Mary Greenwell. You're like, what, huh, what? <laughs> me too. <laughs> the bottle sold me. I, I saw the bottle and I was like, it's nice. Um, 2013 release and the fragrance is simply called Lemon. So my thoughts are, you give me a simplistic lemon that's very authentic, sold, because the bottle's gorgeous. So the big notes in this particular fragrance, lemon, lime, and jasmine. Not bad, good combo there. My thoughts when testing this fragrance, middle of the road citrus is what the came, came to mind here. Nope, you're, you're not selling me. Off the bat, it has some potential. Um, it felt really juicy and authentic, but at other times when wearing this fragrance, and I got two to three samples out of this, it felt that there was too many citrus notes here. It was too citric. Um, and it felt like they were battling each other. And um, it's not about, it's not all about the lemon here as stated in the name. You got some lime in here. You got some bergamot among others. And it really kind of muddled the introduction. It didn't really feel very good. And that was most of the time. Um, Jasmine backs this fragrance. That is your big floral. There's a lot of florals in here. There's Lily of the Valley too, but there's many other florals here. And they took over the citrus. Like they ate it up real quick and pushes it to the backdrop of the scent, kind of making it a redundant fragrance as a citric fragrance. More of a floral fragrance, to be quite honest with you. You get a bit, a bit of woods here, more into the dry down and more oak moss to finish this one off. Sadly, love the bottle. Love the idea, you know, simplistic lemon, and was hoping for more. <laughs> that bottle though. <laughs> Staying power on my skin, five to seven hours, which is good, um, mostly florals though, uh, with projection that was uh, fairly moderate. Pricing, um, this fragrance, I come to see that is discontinued. Um, they had 1.7 ounce bottles and they had 3.4 ounce bottles and it was EDP concentration. So your best bet for this is uh, scour the internet if uh, you had any interest in this one. Overall score from one to 10, 10 being the highest. Mary Greenwell's Lemon. This is the first time I talk about this brand on my YouTube channel. I'm giving it four bottles out of 10. Mm. Nope, 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 nope. Final take, buy, try, or pass. Pass all day. Um, unfortunately, I was kind of looking for just something simplistic and I was met with uh, not as much citrus, more floral than anything. So uh, not a good floral either. So pass for me. And as always, love to hear your comments. Have you smelt anything from the house of Mary Greenwell? Would love to hear your take on that. Have you smelt lemon? Were you suckered into getting a sample like I did? Looking at that beautiful bottle. And uh, as always, thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.